Hey everybody, um, it's Allison Ramirez again, coming back at you. Um, just doing a little update, or big update I guess, or chat session, whatever you want to call it. Um, this will be about my pseudotumor cerebri. Yes, I'm smoking, I'm sorry. I know it's bad, I know I need to quit, but um, I'm doing it. Don't judge. I don't know if I've ever actually, in my two or three videos, went through my whole entire um, history, but um, about a year and four months ago now, I guess, I was diagnosed with pseudotumor cerebri, kind of a dark devilish diagnosis but made a lot of my symptoms that have been going on for a good 14 years finally make sense um, I had always suffered with these symptoms and they were always written off as hormones or you're a young woman growing into a mature woman ha be an adult they said it'd be fun they said good one anyways um, you know I had the uh, stent procedure March 25th of this year put it in over here on my right side um, was good for about a week and then it failed so I went and saw my surgeon he said he doesn't want to do the shunt procedure yet this was in June uh, after a few follow-ups and to see, you know, we had to give it X amount of time to make sure that the stent would work and um, Well, he said you need weight loss surgery. I can see over the years that you've made attempts and I know that you are trying and I can see it in your record, you know, and I think though because you suffer from pseudotumor cerebri and polycystic ovary syndrome disease and um endometriosis that you're just never going to be able to really fully um, lose the excessive amount of weight that you need to which will possibly exponentially help you with your pseudotumor cerebri so I set out on that journey I said all right cried some because it was either do it and um, or work on a bunch of medicines more aggressive medicines I'm already on the Diamox max dose um, suffer all those terrible side effects um, but you know being 29 and going through the infertility that I've gone through and being told you can't have a surgery to possibly fix something else that could possibly be in correlation with it and um, take more medicine but on that medicine you can't you can't try to get pregnant you, you can't be pregnant it was uh, heartbreaking to me I've been through enough heartbreak with that and I, I don't want to deal with it anymore um, that going blank feeling like an 80 year old woman with dementia inside of a 29 year old's body I'm really over it um, I'm tired of the headaches I'm tired of being tired I'm tired of being fatigued I'm tired of being a three-year-old little boy like I need to be up be able to get up and go um, my side effects yeah I've cut all my hair off it was down way past my shoulders which is a good length it was down the middle of my back it was falling out excessively due to the pseudotumor or diamox whatever um, but I did it um, to avoid of it falling out and then to prep to have the uh, surgery done because I felt like inevitably it was going to happen at some point so months and months down the road I have gotten a second opinion that was in June this is now October 25th and uh, met with him the 7th and in between the June and October 7th when I met him 
uh, I had seen two of my neurologists and my ophthalmologist and then the second neuro neurosurgeon who are all at that point uh, due to my symptoms worsening and my uh, papilledema, my swelling not getting better but worse uh, and me not being able to have the weight loss surgery until next summer all said that it's time for me to have the shunt procedure because I've got to get off the Diamox and uh, as one of my doctors said you're on a lot of effing Diamox uh, literally verbatim that's what she said and uh, yeah I'm just over it I'm ready to feel better um, some days I get so mad and frustrated that I just can't go I know I'm big but I used to be of a horse of a man, I was just this energizer, beautiful horse of a woman that was strong and could go, and, you know, I, I did a lot of stuff, and a lot of heavy-duty projects, and built stuff, and made things, and fixed things, and, um, you know, my son's only three, and I've suffered with this now for over a year, and I've had uh, five surgeries since he's been born, so it's been rough, but, um, I'm ready for a change. I feel optimistic and I feel positive that I'm going to see that change here soon. And uh, I know I'm at high risk for infection and that these shunts um, run high risk and that, you know, they can fail and all that. But as I always say, if you guys have any um, advice or your own stories or just want to drop a comment of good luck or whatever, um, I'd appreciate it. All right. Well, stay happy, my friends. Till next time. Warmest regards, as Dan Levy says. My boy. <laughs>